Welcome back to our evening readings of Sri Aurobindo Savitri. We are in Canto 114, The World is Soul in Book 2, the book of the travel of the world. We are through verses 145 through 150. Appealing to the soul and not to the eye. Beauty lived there at home in her own house. There all was beautiful by its own right, and needed not the splendor of a room. All objects were like bodies of the gods, a spirit symbol and veroning a soul. For world and self, the one reality. Immersed in voiceless internet trance, the beings that once wore forms on earth sat there in shining chambers of spiritual sleep. Past and pillars of birth and death. Past was their little scene of symbol deeds. Past were the heavens and hells of their long road. They had returned into the world's deep soul. All now was gathered into pregnant rest. Person and nature suffered a slumber change. In trance they gathered back their begone selves. In the background memories foreseen news. Prophetic of new personality. Arranged the map of their coming destiny's course. Heirs of their past, their future's discoverers, electors of their own self-chosen lot. They waited for the adventure of new life. A person persistent through the lapse of worlds, although the same forever in many shapes. By the outward mind unrecognizable, assuming names unknown in unknown climes, imprints through time upon the earth's warm page, a growing figure of its secret self, and learns by experience what the spirit knows. Till it can see its truth alive and God. A person persistent through the lapse of worlds, although the same forever in many shapes, by the outward mind unrecognizable, assuming names unknown in unknown climes. Brings through time upon the earth's worn page, a growing figure of its secret self, and learns by experience what the spirit knew, till it can see its truth alive 